Lincoln, Nebraska, located in the vast region of the Great Plains, is filled with an ambience of high-intensity college football. And now it's time for the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Rutgers lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 23. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Watch out here. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. He's to the 40. He's tackled around the 41-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. He's into the open field. And he hits him hard at the 49-yard line. From the 49-yard line, first down. Play fake, looking to run. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down to the 32-yard line. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. And he's tackled around the 31-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. From the 31-yard line, it's second down. The Cavalry's coming. Runs with it, and he's got room. Slides down to the ground. And they make the stop at the 17-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. And he's taken down around the 19-yard line. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 19-yard line. Decent run here, right side. Call it a gain of four yards. Third down. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Four down, four down. Mike 22, he's coming, 22's coming. Mike, Mike. Here go. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Nebraska is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Scarlet Knights have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road 
and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. And a nice pickup there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. From their own 43-yard line, it's first down. Heading for the corner. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 50. Call it a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Tackle made at the 41 yard line. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. Makes it to the 31. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Goss is left. Intercepted. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw. And that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. First and 10. Ball on their own 32. Nebraska holds a field goal lead. Has some daylight. Nice gain as he works the right side. Gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Give to the tailback. Tackle at about the 37-yard line. That'll make it third and five. Third and five situation. Ball on the 37. And down he goes at the 42-yard line. The offense gets a first down here. You've got to give them some credit. But really, this is more about the defense. When, when a defense gets an offense to third down and medium, you've got to be able to put pressure on a quarterback, especially when they're passing the football, and try to get your own offense the ball back. And that time, they let their own offense down. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. Nebraska leads it 3-0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. So another third down here, and this time it's third and long. Nebraska has a three-point lead. He chucks it downfield. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment and a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Oh, excellent punt. 
He fields the punt at the 20, and he's tackled at the 27-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Makes it to the 28-yard line. He wants it all. No, incomplete. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. That'll bring up fourth and nine. at the 40. He showed a good burst there. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much and that can cause mistakes. Nebraska is up a field goal. He fights forward to about the 43. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. Mike 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Mike, Mike. Send him the head check. Check. Look, look. Run. 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 down at about the 43-yard line. No gain. That makes it third and seven. on the run now he's gonna run and watch out he's taken down at about the 49 from the 49 yard line first down makes it to the 41 that's good for a gain of eight yards that makes it second and two Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Back 22, back 22. And he stopped behind the line. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. The Cornhuskers running back sidelined earlier with that injury. Right now, though, it looks like he's uh, warming up and trying to get back in the ball game. He fights forward to about the 40. Couldn't get that additional yard he needed to keep the drive moving. No, he was trying to muscle his way past those big guys, but they stood their ground. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. The Scarlet Knights have really got some work to do, I think, Kirk, in the second half, because from what we've seen from their quarterback so far, if he's their star, it's not shining right now, and they got to find somebody else to light up the sky a little bit. Well, I think collectively, as a head coach, an offensive coordinator, quarterback coach, they're all going to have to get together and take some time to visit with this quarterback at halftime and try to find out if they can somehow get him going. And the other thing to think about is maybe this is where the running backs, maybe it's this is their week to take some of the pressure off him. Maybe the receivers, the offensive line. When your star isn't playing up to his abilities, he has a tendency to press. Somebody else has to step up their game and take some of the pressure off him. Caught by the tight end past the marker. He's tackled at the 37-yard line. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. First and 10, ball on the 37-yard line. They'll bring him down around the 48-yard line. That's a gain of 11 on the play. First man left, down. Man left. Four down, four down. 15 is the mic. 15 is the mic. I got 15. Black, black. Strike to his receiver. No good. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. The intended receiver on the play. Right, left, 
Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 48. He's got it with room to run. And he is drilled at the 36. Number 17 down at the 36 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Looks for his running back, incomplete. Number 28 was the intended receiver on the play. From the 36 yard line, second down. And he's tackled at the 30. With the catch. Nice play, baby. Nice play. Number 11 brings him down at the 30 yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's tackled in the open field. No gain on the play. That makes it Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Fourteen's the mic. Fourteen's the mic. I got fifteen. Day nine, green nine. Blue bloody. Go. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start. Offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still fourth down. Right and left, right and left. Two down, two down. And look, we're going to go Mike your team, guys. Mike your team, right? Hey, kill, kill, kill. Flair. Motion. Go. I'm not sure about that play call as they fail on fourth down. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Three down, three down. Nebraska is up by three. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Gain of six on the draw play. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's under some heat. He's going to air it long. Can't haul it in. There's a strike complete, and he's down. Rutgers will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Gets to about the 27-yard line. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. Nebraska's got a three-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. The big fellas on the offensive line dominating this game right now. I mean, the defensive linemen in the pass rush, they've got no shot of having any idea of what's going on with the quarterback. They can't even reach it. Well, you know what? It's nice to be a quarterback that sits back in the pocket and he kind of pats the football once, twice, three times. And then, Reese, he scrambles and runs around because he's bored. That's what he did in the first half. I mean, the protection could not have been any better. The quarterback had all day to throw the football. If that doesn't change, it's going to be a long second half. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, well, a good game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away.
Very close game now as we start the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 19-yard line. Nebraska is the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. He fights forward to about the 20. It's second and nine. Ball on the 20. Looks to his receiver, first down. It's caught, first down, and he's out of bounds. First down. for a loss. I thought they might have been able to exploit the over-pursuit of the defense, but not on that play. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Just throws this one away. Number seven was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and 13. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's taken down at the 45. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Nebraska holds a field goal lead. Nice run up the middle. They get about four on that keeper. That brings up second and five. It's second and five here. Ball in the 49. And he's taken down right around midfield. He keeps it and picks up maybe a yard. Third down. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Mike 22, he's coming. 22's coming. Mike, Mike. Take go. 225. He gets rid of this one. Nothing clicking there. Let's see if they can make a few adjustments before their next series. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. And here's the, wait a minute, the upback's got it. And he's taken down at the 48. Defense stiffens on fourth down, and the ball will change hands. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Fires it out. And they make the stop around the 40-yard line. Number six with the tackle at the 40-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Watch the team. Watch the team. Watch the team. Green nine. Green nine. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. Gain of nine on the play. First down. Man left, man left. They hand it off. Gets out to about the 31. From the 31-yard line. Second down. Throw 
throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Number 17, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. Here comes the pressure. Got a man. Watch out here. And he's level at the 21-yard line. Call it a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 21. Hey, look, we're going to go Mike 15, guys. Mike 15. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a gain of 7 yards. That'll bring up second and 3. Touchdown, Scarlet Knights. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So that's a seven-play, 47-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Fielded at the four. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. The defense forced a turnover on downs on the last drive. Nothing can impact an offense more negatively than being stopped on a series of downs. And that's what happened to this offense the last time they were out. It's not just the quarterback's job to try to get this offense going. I think it starts up front with the veteran offensive line. See what kind of leadership they have to try to change this thing around. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. Mike 22, he's coming, 22's coming, Mike, Mike. Big down. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That brings up third and 12. Three down, three down. Mike 22, Mike 22. Go! Man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That brings up fourth and 15. He's at the 40, and he's tackled at the 35. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. And off to the right. And they get nice yardage on that run. Both offenses still trying to find a way to open things up. The end of three quarters. Rutgers in front, 7-3. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Rutgers is up four. Quickly to the tight end. He's knocked out of bounds around the 25 yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25 yard line. Tackle around the 16 yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Throws middle of the tight end. That's a great tackle at the 14. Call it a gain of 
two yards. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 14. Watch the team. Watch the team. Watch the team. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And he carries the ball for a nice game. To carry. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. Mike goes, Mike, let's go. Hey, Mike's, Mike, Mike's 15. Mike's left. Run, 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 run. Get it, get it. Touchdown, Rutgers. Well, the offense certainly did their job. They've extended their lead here in the fourth quarter, and now they look at their defensive counterparts and say, hey, guys, it's your turn. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Number 10, need to return. Taken from the three-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. From their own 24-yard line. It's second down. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And down he goes around the 38-yard line. Number 45 makes the tackle at the 38-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Mike 22, he's coming. 22's coming. Mike, Mike. Now he pitches it. Brought down right around the 46-yard line. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Scrambling around. Slides down. Just under three to go in regulation. They try him again, and this time they've got him in the backfield. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 45-yard line. Runs left and quickly taken down. Well, this offense right now has got to be feeling pretty good about themselves. They hit a big play right there. Now, if they could just get the ball into the end zone, you never know what could happen. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Loss of five on the play. That'll make it second and long. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Check three, check three. Watch the pass. Watch the pass. Take off. Take off. And he hits him hard at the 15. That's good for a gain of two yards. That brings up third. third down again. Here's the halfback on the screen. We're still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop. And now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. Just over a minute left. Well, that one should do it. A fourth down stop here late in the fourth quarter, and that should be the nail in the coffin in this game.
Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. The Cornhuskers taking their first time out of the half. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. He's taken down at the 28. Nebraska is going to have to use their second time out of the half. They'll bring him down at about the 49. Nebraska's out of timeout. The defense might need to make some changes to their coverage scheme because that was just too easy. Two times, two times. First and 10, ball on the 49. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Right around the 40. Hard again of 12 yards. That'll make it third and one. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Scarlet Knights coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team was able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.